Hey folks, it's Mark Boyer from YoChicago.com and NewHomeNotebook.com and we're here at Catalpa Gardens today in Edgewater. We're with uh, Paulette Rodriguez. Um, she's a sales manager from Jameson Real Estate and um, Paulette, we're hoping you can tell us a little bit about this development because well, until, until last month, we hadn't, hadn't heard a thing about it in a couple of years, actually. So uh, let's, let's, get, let's get reacquainted with Catalpa Gardens. Yeah, well, thank you for stopping by. We are so excited, you know. I've been a realtor for a long time, and I've worked on a lot of developments. And this is very exciting. Like a lot of other developments, you know, with the market, the way things have happened recently, you know, developers are stuck at that 50% sold. And luckily, these are already built. They're already finished. So, um, you know, the developer basically, you know, was realistic and said, okay, you know, we don't want to hold on to these forever, and what can we do? So, um, he's a, I've known him for a long time, and I've done other developments with him, and mm -hmm. so, with the owners of Jameson, myself, and my sales team, we evaluated the market, and, you know, we did a lot of research, and that was a few months ago. Right. And uh, we said, okay, we feel at a certain price point that we could sell these, and sell these quickly. Right. Um, because this is new construction. As you can see, you've got the granite, you've got the uh, stainless steel appliances, on sure. sinks, hardwood floors. I mean, all of this, and you can get a two bedroom, two bath anywhere from 220 to 290 with parking. Wow, which okay. Which is pretty incredible to me to have something out of this you know, nature with that price point. Right. So, um... Now, let, let's talk about where, where things were at before, mm -hmm. before you came in. Um, there was still about half of the inventory and in the development was, right. was still in the market. How big is this development? It's... The development's 126 units, and they were 50% sold. They had about 68 units already sold and closed when we came in. Okay. So, it's an anomaly, though, which is really nice, because we had a variety. We weren't stuck with one tier which is really good. So we had one bedrooms, uh, two bedroom, one and a half bath, two bedrooms. So we had a nice variety for the different type of buyers that are out there. Right. Uh, we are also really close to FHA financing, okay. which is really important. So we should have that in a couple of weeks. So, um, and again, I think, you know, it's at a great price point. Now, granted, you know, some of the owners are already here have paid up to, you know, hundred thousand dollars more for these units and some of them two hundred thousand but you know uh, at these price points I mean it, it is what it is you that, know? well that's got to put them in a bit of a, a difficult situation if... you know I have to tell you I did get some calls of concerned uh, you know people that unit owners and you know what what are our alternatives you know these are owner occupied people coming in they're not investors you know, the flip side is an investor could come in and, and rent them all. Right. Uh, which I know is happening out there in the marketplace. So what does that do to the value? So while we rent them have, or have them <laughs> sit vacant for, for or have longer, them right? Sit vacant and guess what? Then you don't have enough assessments to pay your bills. Right. So um, I think the nice thing about this is that they are owners. A lot of them first time home buyers, they're taking pride in their homes. The, the value is only going to increase, and yes, mm -hmm. it's going to take time for the market to recover. We all know that; it's not a secret. Yeah. But I, um, but I think the way, the direction that we're going in, the types of people that are coming in, and they love it. It's exciting, you right. know, to come in and get all of this at a certain price point that you couldn't get. I had a buyer that came and bought two years ago, could not afford to purchase here. She saw the prices came in. She's so excited. You know, it's just like, oh my God, it was, you know, $50,000 more last year or a hundred, whatever, you right. know, the case may be.